this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install pre-mid for completely free. Well, kinda. Okay, so a couple weeks back, I made a video showing you how to install pre-mid properly, and I even showed you add-ons as well that I personally use and are just in general pretty popular. Now in that video, I was tasked by a few of you guys in the comments below to find a working pre-mid, at least pre-mid or kind of like pre-mid application that works for mobile devices where you can display your activity status. And I found one for you right here. Okay, so I am using a emulator right now because I don't have an Android device, but the process is exactly the same. Now, before the bulk of this video starts, if you can do me a favor and like the video and hit the subscribe button, it really does help me out, and I really appreciate it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to your Play Store. Once you have that up, you're going to want to search for Yandex Browser. It should be the first thing that pops up after you type Yandex, and all you're going to want to do is hit Install. And once that finishes installing, just open it up. Mine should be done in a second here. So just click get started. Oh, there you go, it goes landscape, that's sick. And one of the big things you should notice is um, it is a Russian application. Do with that as you will. I, you're gonna wanna use their search engine and just type in Chrome Store. And once you do that, you'll see everything's in Russian. So just go to like the three dots down here and just click translate page. There we go. <laughs> that even work? Yeah, it kind of did. Okay, <laughs> once you do that, just click on the Chrome store here, and you'll see you get popped up with extensions. This is good. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to the search and just type in Discord. Click enter, and then you'll notice just one thing pops up. Make sure you click on extensions. Once you click on extensions, you'll see another thing pops up. Scroll down a bit and you see set discord activity this is exactly what you want so click on it and you're going to want to scroll over here and just click simply add to chrome now when you add it to chrome it just says read and change data on a number of websites totally fine just click add extension all right awesome now that that's installed and done what we're going to do is just simply search for discord and once you're on Discord, you're just going to want to sign in. And do not save, sorry. And once you sign in. Wow, this is what this looks like. Okay. Um, once you sign in, you're going to want to go to the three dots down here. Scroll down all the way until you see extensions. Click on it. And you're going to want to click on set discord activity. Now, if this pops up where it says set discord activity, I didn't detect a discord tab. If a tab is already open, reload it. If not, simply open this one. Totally fine. Just click open this one. It'll open discord with the loaded extension. And then go down here extensions, set discord activity, and there you go. This pops up. Now all you're going to want to do is click on it and you'll have a bunch of things. You can say you're listening to SoundCloud, YouTube, YouTube Music, Custom, and all these things. And Custom, and then you'll be brought up by this stuff. Now I already did do this to test this, um, but basically you can click on the plane and you can change it to streaming, listening to, watching, um, competing in, and then custom status. So I'm just going to keep it as plain, and over here, I put in poop, and then pooping real hard right now, and then on toilet, and then set Discord activity. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my computer, and click on my profile, and you'll see what it says. Okay, so I'm on my Discord right now, and if I go over here, and I click on, and there you go, this is the account I just did it on, and I click on it, and I go to activity, you'll see that they're playing a game, poop. They are pooping real hard right now, and he's on the toilet. Now, even if you look on the side over here, you'll see that it even says plain poop. Now, say you want to change it. No problem. Let's say you're watching, 
Um, and then someone, oh, that looks laggy. Someone pooping. And then real. Um, and then mega swag. No, no spaces. And before I change it, I'm going to display the activity here. And then I'm going to click set Discord activity right now. And you'll see how quickly it changes. So then it says watching someone pooping. Real. Mega swag. So this stuff changes automatically. And you can do it with pretty much anything. You can even do a custom status to it. Let's have it mega swag. We'll click it. And that actually just changes the status. So you can even change your Discord status. I'm pretty sure you can do it on phone anyways, so that's a bit weird. But you can change your Discord status as well using this application. Now, I know one of the big questions you may ask is, do I need to always use this web browser? And the answer to that is no. So let's go to custom and have my custom status listening to. Set that as the activity. Quick look again, you'll see that I'm listening to it. And then now all I'm going to do is log out. Scroll down all the way here, log out, log out. You'll see that I'm completely logged out, and I'm going to even close out of this web browser. <laughs> Open up the tabs, exit out of it, completely closed. You can go back to your Discord app, and you'll notice that it still says listening to someone pooping. So yes, even though this is a Russian browser, and it's a bit, it's a bit sketchy, all you have to do is sign in with your Discord, make sure you have the extension added, set the status to whatever you want it to be, and it will stay like this. Now, I know it still shows that I'm online. You may be thinking, somebody's on my account. Well, you don't have to worry about that because I already had this open in the background because I just need to get my login information. Um, so even if I exit, what is this? Oh, great, another scam. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, don't question why it's still up. And there you go. That is how you can get pre-mid for mobile only. I know it's not actually pre-mid, but it gives you all the features of pre-mid. And the only thing you have to do differently is just change it yourself. But that gives you more customizability and it's kind of cool. So if you did like this video, please drop a like and subscribe if you are new. See you in the next video. Peace.